Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I wanted to go over the 2022 Epic Mega Jam, which if you don't know, is on August 25th. So this event will start on August 25th, and I want to kind of explain uh, how these game jams work, uh, the prizes, all that sort of stuff. And even if you're not interested in participating in this game jam, uh, there still are a lot of free stuff that you can claim, like a two month free Houdini license. So if you guys want to Get yourself a bunch of free stuff, uh, free trials for some programs. They always give away free stuff. Let's go ahead and explain what is the Epic Mega Jam. Uh, this is basically a game jam where you make a game within a certain amount of time. So for in this case, it's a week. So you have seven days to make a game based on a theme that they give you. Now they do this every year. And I participated actually last year. I made a complete multiplayer game in seven days. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. But if you guys are interested in this year's Mega Jam, there's a lot of different prizes as well as as well as a lot of free stuff that you guys can claim. So if you head over to the itch.io page, this is where you're going to find all the information on the jam. You're going to find the official rules. So I recommend you read over the official rules because there are some limitations depending on where you live. Like if you live in a different country, I recommend you read the official rules to make sure that you can actually participate. One thing that you need to note is that you can either do this alone so solo, or you can do this with a team of up to five members. So if you are, for example, just a programmer and you need someone to 3D model, uh, you're going to have to find someone either through the Unreal Engine Discord or through the forums to be on your team. Or if you know how to 3D model and all that stuff and you're good at programming, you could probably do it on your own. So before we get into the prizes, let me just explain how this jam works. It will start on the 25th of August from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. of September 1st. So it's a week long. To submit your game, you have to create an itch.io account and you have to submit it through there. You have to submit it before September 1st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time or else you won't meet the deadline. Then you have to include all the information such as you know the name of your game, team name, and team members if you're in a team. You can use pre-made assets. So what I mean by this is if you go to the marketplace and download some assets from there, you can use those. Just note that they will remove some points from your overall score. So let's actually get into how this thing is scored. If you read under here, the judging is based on a one to five point scale. So that means that you have these different categories, unique use of contest theme, so what that means is they give you a theme when this jam kicks off. Uh, last year's theme was running out of space. So you have to think of how to incorporate that theme into your game. The next category is the fun factor. So how fun or how well does your game play? Then the third category is the visuals, whether that's highly realistic visuals or stylized visuals. Uh, then we have audio, so how well the audio is inside of your game. And so if you use pre-made assets, you have to list which asset you use or which pre-made animation, texture, whatever you're using. If you've made it before the jam, you have to clarify those things and list it on your game. Let's talk about the free stuff because there is always a lot of different sponsors that sponsor the game jam every year. And they always like to give away free stuff. Even if you don't participate, you can always hop on and get some of this stuff. So first of all, we have Assembla. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I think this is basically like a Git repository that you can use. And they're offering a free hosting service for the duration of the jam. And repositories will be deleted 28 days after the jam concludes. So if you guys want to check it out, now would be a good time. Side effects is offering a two month Houdini indie license. So this is super cool because if you want to check out Houdini, Houdini is like a procedural program that you can use to create various different assets. Uh, their indie license is not free by any means, like there's no free trial. So this is really the only time that you can try out the indie license uh, to get that free trial. And the way that Houdini works with Unreal is, you know, you can create procedural assets and import those assets into Unreal Engine. And this is the only time they're giving away a two month 
free indie license. So if you want to check out Houdini Indie, now is a good time. You can get a free two-month license. I just have to fill out the form, and they'll send you that license code. Okay, Kitbash 3D, um, they're offering a free Neon City kit to use in the game Jam. From what I've known, they've always had this kit free, but you guys can download that in the description below. Game Pack, they're giving away some sound effects, like Assault Weapon, Sci-Fi. says here, please read the terms and conditions, so I wonder if these guys are only letting you use it for the duration of the Jam, or if you can use it for free definitely check that out uh, we have we love indies which i guess is some sound and music some more music everyone who uses we love indies for the jam additionally gets a 50 percent off voucher for the next project so it looks like legal note their sound and music is free of any royalty claims so that's a pretty good thing to hear because you know if you put music on your youtube video or whatever it's going to get claimed automatically okay ramsters the animations it looks like they're offering a uh, couple of different animations that you can use and all of these things if you're actually participating in the game jam you can use inside of it um, now whether or not that counts against a score I'm not entirely sure I would just make sure that you take note which assets that you use that you didn't create from scratch okay, we have game textures so this is a website that has a bunch of different textures that you can use uh, you can also use Quixel Megascans, so you can use the Megascans library, all the textures, assets, all that stuff to make your game. Uh, they're also promoting Quixel Mixer, which is like Substance Painter, uh, so if you need to texture your 3D model, if you don't want to pay for Substance Painter, you can get Quixel Mixer, which is free all the time. Uh, incredible Build Game Dev, I guess this is some sort of cloud system that compiles your game. I'm not entirely sure how that works mentions and cut down your build time and release high quality on time now one big sponsor of this game jam that hasn't sponsored any previous jams is amazon web services which i think is pretty neat so amazon web services is here to help you with one thousand dollars and amazon and aws promotional credits so that's pretty cool uh, what this means is you can host your server uh, your database whatever for your game up in aws and you get about a thousand dollars worth of credits um, you could probably host over a dozen different servers with that for a decent amount of time uh, considering you know you get a thousand dollars worth of credits so go ahead and check that out uh, now there are different resources that you can use to prepare for the jam such as the Unreal Slackers, uh, if you know if you need to find team members or whatnot, Unreal Directive, uh, I think this is some resources to learn about Blueprint and various things like that. Now down here we have the different prizes, uh, which is what you guys might be interested in. There is a lot of different stuff. So the very first thing that I want to explain is basically you have a first, second, and third place finalists and there's also a first, second, and third place student finalist. So what that means is if you're a student, you can also participate in the jam, list that you are a student, you know, your school name, all that stuff, and you can compete in this particular tier. I think that's a cool thing because now they have their own bracket that they can compete in. Now, in addition to these first, second, and third place, there are 11 modifier categories. So what that means is you have categories like the best army of one. So this is the best game developed by a solo developer. So whoever participates with only one person, uh, the best game made by one person will win this custom PC. Light it up for the game with the most creatively lit environment that includes real-time ray tracing. And audio experience, the best game with audio and sound. So there are 11 different categories like this. And before I get ahead of myself, you can also win a category as well as a finalist uh, prize. And also multiple categories, if that makes sense. So I think last year someone got like third place and also won the Army of One. So you can win multiple categories and or be a finalist and win some of the other categories. So right off the bat, first place winners, you get a RTX 3080 GPU, I guess an Intel Acclimates GPU, 15,000 hours from Incredibuild, a one year boom library, ultimate complete. So the sound library, we love Indies music bundle, one year Houdini Indie license, um, one year license of game textures, six month subscription of visual assist so there's a lot of different stuff and then down here 
you also get a load of different marketplace assets. So these are all different uh, marketplace packs that you'll get. These first place, second place prizes will apply to each member in your team. So each team member will receive the prize awards unless otherwise stated. So if you have a team of five members, you each are gonna get a 3080 with all this stuff. Uh, you also get an Unreal Engine swag pack. It's also really nice. Uh, they feature your game on the live stream and they showcase it in a video sizzle. Uh, second place prizes, you get an Intel GPU, 25,000 hours. You guys can read through all this stuff. Third place prizes, um, you get you know all those different marketplace assets. And of course you have the first, second, and third place student prizes. So for all the students who participate in the jam, the Army of One is always really nice because they always have a custom PC that has a Mega Jam print on it, a pretty unique thing that they do every year for the Game Jam. So the specs here for the PC, you got a 3080, AMD Ryzen 7, 5800X, 32 gigs, RAM, 2 terabyte M.2 SSD, and then you get a bunch of other stuff with it. Okay, so the Light It Up, again, was a RTX one. So, there's you know, there's different sponsors that sponsor the Game Jam. So in this case, it's NVIDIA. And it looks like they're giving away a 3080. So this is the best game with the most creatively lit environment that includes real-time ray tracing. So there's a lot of different categories that you can participate. That's always good because, you know, not everyone is super good at programming. Not everyone's super good at... 3D modeling, but there are these different categories that you can focus more towards and compete towards. Okay, we have the audio, so the game with the best audio, music, and sound. I did last year's game jam, and honestly, I struggled with audio. Like, I just put it off pretty much to like the last hour or so, and I just made a bunch of random sounds. So, definitely make sure you focus on audio, I guess. Games make us go wow. So I guess this is like stylized. So the game with the most stunning stylized graphics. So that's pretty neat that they include that. Looks like you get a thousand dollar art station gift card. And then we also have the Make Us Go Wow Photo Reel. So the game with the most stunning photo reel graphics. That will be pretty interesting to see. You also get a thousand dollar art station gift card for that one. So this one here, the procedural magicians. So if you use Houdini side effects to create procedural assets, you could compete in this particular tier. And you're not limited to only focus on one category. There have been people who have won Army of One as well as Procedural Magicians. Like you can compete and go for every single category if you wanted to. Use it or lose it. So this is a really interesting category. Uh, this is for the best game created using a single four channel texture map. So that means you can only use a single four channel texture map for your entire game. So this is going to be interesting. I wonder if someone will make like some PS1 graphics because if you know you just have one texture to texture your entire game, uh, it's going to be a pretty crazy uh, category to see how people implement this. So fully kitted. So this is the Amazon Web Service category. And if I were to compete, which I don't know if I will in this game jam, I'd probably compete for this a particular one so this is for the game with the best use of achievements using Amazon Web Service Game Kit so basically this is a plugin for Unreal Engine I actually went and checked this out so you can go to the github page currently it only supports 4.27 so you can't use Unreal Engine 5 unfortunately I'm not sure why they haven't updated it yet but basically uh, they have some documentation some guides on how to use achievements but it's a cloud-based achievement system. So, you know, if your player hops on the game, either from their laptop or from the desktop, all their achievements are going to be saved up in the cloud so that they can continue playing where they left off and whatnot. Okay, and it says that all participants can receive up to $1,000 in AWS promotional credits. And the winner of this category, you get $10,000 in promotional credits so that's pretty crazy. Um, I guess if you're launching a multiplayer game or if you need some sort of database to store player data, this would be really good for your launch of your game. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff here. The next category from Amazon Web Services is multiplayer. So multiplayer elevation. This is for the best multiplayer game that uses Amazon Game Lift. So Game Lift is sort of like a server hosting system. So if you're gonna host like a dedicated server, 
up in the cloud, this is what you'd use. Now, the only way you can use GameLift right now is through C++. Uh, there are some marketplace plugins that you can buy. Kind of sucks how this is limited, but this is a pretty cool category that they're including multiplayer. Like I said, if I were to compete, I might try this category because I think multiplayer games are pretty fun to make. And yeah, so you get $10,000 in Amazon Web Service promotional credits, a bunch of other marketplace assets and whatnot. We have the Kit Basher. So this is the game for the best use of the Kit Bash 3D Neo City Pack. So that's the free pack that you can download from their website. So all you have to do to compete in this category is incorporate that city pack into your game. And a winner, you'll get two kits from Kitbash 3D and all these marketplace assets. Double Trouble, we have the best game that makes use of paired animations. So I guess these are like two different characters that you have to use that play these two different animations at once. That would honestly be pretty cool for like a cinematic or something if you're going for like a story game. The Tiny But Mighty. Uh, this is basically a category for the best game that is less than 150 megabytes. So whether or not, you know, you use really simplified models, really simple textures, and you get the package game down to less than 150 megabytes, this is a category that you'll be competing in. Honestly, that's always been kind of a struggle for me, getting my game to be less than a certain size, because it's really easy to just get some Quixel textures, you know, Quixel assets, and that will take up easily you know a gig of space or whatnot we have is this real life so this is for the best cross reality game and then i think that is pretty much it um down here at the bottom they just have some helpful links so if you need to learn about all the various things in the game jam or documentation you can go ahead and check out these tutorials here at the bottom but yeah, there's a lot of different categories that you can compete in. And like I said, you can compete for multiple different categories. And you can also win some of the finalist categories like first, second, or third place. Now, I participated in last year's jam and I kind of want to explain my experience. Uh, if you guys are going to participate, I highly recommend that you either work with a team uh, because it's kind of hard as a solo developer to do it. Unless, of course, you know, you know how to 3D model, program, all that stuff. Uh, for me, I only had about five hours a day to work on this game, and it was pretty hard in that case. If you're going to participate in the jam, what you want to do is you want to make sure you pick an easy game to make or an easy idea. Um, that won't take too much time to implement and kind of focus on that core idea. You don't want to get too ambitious uh, because you only have seven days, and that really isn't enough time to work on a game, if I'm being honest. Uh, another piece of advice that I think would help people who participate is use pre-made assets. Uh, there have been games that have won, like first place, second place, and they've used pre-made assets. So it's not a big deal if you have to use a couple assets here and there. Uh, just clarify that you use those assets in the description of your game. Some other advice is uh, make the game fun to play and make the visuals look pretty nice. And again, if you have to use those pre-made assets to make those visuals look nice, don't be afraid to use those. You guys can see the game that I made. It wasn't the very best in terms of visuals. Uh, everything was kind of bland. The gameplay was all right, but I kind of ran out of time and I didn't have enough time to record like a trailer video. But yeah, that's pretty much all my thoughts and advice that I could probably give on participating in the game jam. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be participating myself. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to down in the comments down below. If I were to participate, I'd probably go for the, the multiplayer category. But then again, I'm not entirely sure because I don't really know too much about Amazon Game Lift and all that stuff. But who knows? I'm not saying I will participate, but if you guys want me to, maybe I will. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. If you have any questions about the jam or whatnot. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.